It's actually 6 a.m., which is rare. The only time I feel like filming, I actually wake up early for once. I knew I wanted to film early today, and my sister kicked me out of her bedroom because she has online classes, <laughs> and the air condition in my bedroom doesn't work, so. I want to shoot today. I'm probably going to refilm a video that I was planning on doing because I didn't like the way the footage came out. So we're going to do that for the day. I'm going to take you on this day in my quarantine life, except I'm not really quarantined. I'm just kind of self-isolating and social distancing. So this is my coffee filter setup. I just want to show you guys what my coffee setup kind of looks like because it is a process. Kind of adds the whole morning ritual. Majority of these stuff are from Amazon, except for this beautiful coffee mug that I got from my favorite coffee place uh, back in Portsmouth. I just really wanted to support local coffee vendors there. This is the coffee I used also from Amazon. Oh God, um, it looks like a mess, but I think that's what quarantine does to you. I may have accidentally dropped my coffee filter by accident and now I can't make my coffee. There's some people in my bedroom right now fixing the air conditioning. So I don't really have anywhere to work or at least do like some morning journaling or writing. So I thought I'd just go outside and do it instead. And the moment you all been waiting for, here's my room in the Empire. Now welcome to my Empire Hotel room. Here's my door. Oh, it's a really big door. Apologies for this ugly yellow light, but I just want to show you guys properly on this beautiful entryway. And if you look over to your left, this is this beautiful gigantic mirror that unfortunately I cannot steal, but I dream to. Once you come in here, this is the bathroom. Once you come into this bathroom, you notice this beautiful bathtub. Honestly, one of my two favorite places to chill and hang out. Uh, yes, I hang out in a majority in a bathroom because it's a beautiful bathroom. If you look over here, there's a section dedicated to showering, and a section dedicated to do your business. And once you go out, you will notice this sleeping area that I just woke up from. And if you look over here, this is, if you notice these pile of clothes, this is where all my sewing projects are held at, where I prep to do sewing for when I get back home, or I'm currently doing sewing. This is where I basically do my office work. Whatever that means, I just do my coursework here. That is trash that I've compiled up over the past week. In the middle of filming, you get a monkey licking your No, get the out. I have been attacked by monkeys, so if I look a little frazzled, it is literally because I am checking whether or not they are still around. I know it's supposed to be a day in the life, but a part of the day in the life in Brunei, in quarantine, for me, is to fight off monkeys. This isn't the first time that they actually did this, but this is the first time they tried to attack me. So I need, I need to do my skincare now, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, excuse me while I'm gonna change. We got a new air condition and it's quiet. <laughs> I need to do my makeup when I'm stuck at home. Not really stuck at home, but self isolating and social distancing. I want to film. I'm always itching to do another video or do something new. I'm a very homebody type person. Like I usually stay home anyway. So it doesn't really feel any different to me personally, save for the fact that I'm no longer working and I'm no longer expecting life to happen the way I thought it would. And me being kind of a freelancer slash low-key sometimes unemployed, my work life has always been quite random anyway. So 
right now it has felt like just a pause. Shasha had the idea of making this YouTube video, so she wanted to kind of vlog this experience of being under quarantine. Because let's be honest, this is a very weird time in everyone's life, and she wanted to record it. And I was like, sure, let's do that. Show a little bit of different insight of what life is like for the both of us because she's just suddenly went up and came back to Brunei and so thinking about my sister puts me into a perspective of I obviously do not have it the worst and it's my duty as a member of the public to help out and even if that means staying at home and not seeing people except for my immediate family for a longer period of time then let it be hmm. I wonder what this is Claire's, I'm gonna eat some of this. So I didn't expect to film this bit, but oh, look at the eclairs. I just received some from my aunt. It was such a, I was so caught off guard. It is such a nice treat to have after a very weird morning. Oh, it's so good. I can't wait to eat it. You may have a couple questions. Why are you in a bathtub in a nice hotel? Because this is a really nice bathtub and I'm not gonna have this bathtub anytime soon. I'm going very attached to it. Also, I really want this introduction to show how my life has been going in the toilet. <laughs> as much as I'm joking right now, um, this pandemic has been affecting everyone's lives. It has impacted my life as well. Um, over around two weeks ago, I had been asked by my family and encouraged by the government to go back home I could say state of emergency, it kind of felt like it for that last week before I left. But basically every any student who has, or any student or person who has come back to Brunei has to be in mandatory quarantine imposed by the uh, Ministry of Health for the next two weeks. It's either in three options, you can do it at home, or you can do it at, at a hotel funded by the government, or you can do like me where it's privately funded. I'm still in shock and in awe for them trying to make me feel better about the situation. Honestly, it still, it still feels quite heavy and the emotions are still fresh, but I'm just quite lucky that they're trying to make me feel better and make my, me and my siblings feel better about the situation. Yeah, I just want to show in this video of how life has been going for me so far because it's such a weird and rare opportunity to show life in mandatory quarantine. It seemed like a fun idea and it gives me something to do because for the next week, I honestly, I still really do not know what to do after this. <laughs> Usually for videos, I do take a while to set everything up. I have been playing around with different settings and different kind of vibes or aesthetics for the video. So I thought because the video that I'm doing right now is gonna be a booktube video like my first one i think i do want to show my books all up there just to make it look a bit nicer the problem is my room is a mess as you can tell so i have to do a little bit of cleanup before i can actually film anything look how many lashes i've accumulated over the past month because of filming i wear so many lashes thank you amy for giving them all to me This is my little outfit change. I just put on this really nice thrifted jumper I got for only six pounds. Ah, I wish I thrifted more in London. I think that's one thing I wish I did more. And then I added a little bit of a headband just kind of to separate my hair and my head from the rest of the background. Everything set up. I do have sometimes a little bit of a script with me. The mic's right here. All the books and props I kind of need. Lights. Assistant <laughs> and my face right there and hers who doesn't look very happy with me. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Ow. Ah, I tried. I just want to show you guys my setup for sewing. I have my laptop on Netflix, my sewing kit, and 
the actual piece of clothing that I'm gonna sew. It's actually a jumpsuit in this beautiful Tiffany blue color. Hopefully everything will turn out well. just finished doing my little vlog because I've been filming for about a month almost every single day. I'm really used to talking to a camera more than actual people. Sometimes I just kind of want to film even though I know that I don't like the footage to practice and just make sure that I'm constantly doing something and helping myself out. Do I look tired? Probably. I think the only thing I have to do now is to look through the footage and then just do some fine bit of editing. I always like to spend the end of the day kind of writing down what I'm doing the next day and maybe the week after just planning things ahead. It makes me feel sane, you know, it makes me feel normal in unprecedented times that doesn't feel very normal. I don't want to edit because it's already like 8-ish. So instead, I'm going to remove my makeup, put on some pajamas, and I'm going to go outside, relax, watch some Netflix, Tiger King, because apparently that's really good. Just had a bath and preparing for online classes soon. I just want to take this time to discuss with you guys on my thoughts and feelings about transitioning from a campus to online. If I could summarize the feelings I have, it would just be grief, kind of feeling sterile. I miss that human interaction that I get with my lectures and my course mates and my friends. And that sucks that it had to end on a brutal note. <laughs> In terms of my online life as a university student, it's now considered just primarily in live streaming, Google Hangouts, setting up appointments for video calls, Zoom even. To anyone that's curious on how my lectures are, or online uh, lectures are currently being set up, this is how I do it, this is my experience. This is usually dedicated towards questions I have to ask, and I usually have notes to write down if, in case there's any important information I have to take in. It's not really different when in comparison to my face-to-face -face lectures, just the medium of information where I take it. Guess who's back? Yay. So that was our video about our day in the life in Empire Hotel and at home. I was fine in quarantine. I stayed sane. Got a bathtub to myself. I actually got grown attached to that bathtub. You can have mine. It's not the same. <laughs> anyway, uh, we just want to say, please stay home, stay safe. And stay away from monkeys. Yes. If you like the video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Bash Harry. And I'm Sasha Harry. Sasha or Shasha? Shasha. Shasha Harry, but in the UK, I'm Sasha. My name is Bash Harry. And I'm Shasha Harry. And we'll see you next week. Bye! Bye.